Howdy everybody. So we got ourselves another little project here we got to do. This is another extraction. So this is the lower housing for a Bridgeport um, Series 1 2 horse. And this one is really crazy. So Ed and I, he was trying to put this one together and I was helping him with it. And a couple of times we tried putting this head on, could not get it to go together. And finally came to the conclusion after a bunch of measuring that Bridgeport put this hole, this is the adjusting screw shaft for um, the tilt on the head. That hole is 30 thousandths too far that direction is what we finally determined after some measuring, which really screws with you because then it jams up on the adjusting gear here, won't go on. Um, we're kind of shocked by that. We've never run into such a gross mismachined part by Bridgeport. But what's interesting is that this one was originally on a duplicator and they had doweled it in place and I believe didn't have a gear in it. So apparently even right at Bridgeport, they knew that it wasn't right. It was probably on the reject pile and they dealt with it by just putting it in an application where they didn't think you ever needed that. And we pulled it, you know, we've put tons of what were duplicator heads onto Bridgeports, never run into a problem like this. So anyway, it's just interesting little uh, antidote that Bridgeport apparently wasn't above slipping some shady garbage through if they thought they could get away with it. But so anyway, the bummer of it is he's already got it all painted up. It was ready to go on. Um, thankfully, hadn't done much assembly because we were just installing the uh, quill housing in place and then he was going to start assembling. So anyway, what we're doing now is just stripping this thing down, which, you know, trying to get the useful parts off because we're going to scrap this. It's just, there's no saving that. It's not worth it to us. We got too many of these around. So anyways, for those of you that have or haven't had, this is the um, quill feed uh, swinging casting here. It is held in, so you can see it turning here. It's got a groove cut in it, and in this hole there's a um, I believe they call it a dog nose set screw in there that's run in that just slips into that groove and that's all that keeps this from coming out and then the behind it they run in um, it's a jam set screw I don't know if you guys have ever seen one there uh, like just the very top of a set screw like the hex goes all the way through them they're super thin and this one has had one of those classic Gorilla Man tightened it up moves where somebody reefed on it and cracked it. And once you crack them stupid things, especially when they're tight, they're virtually impossible to get out because they uh, they wedge themselves in place and act like an internal collet. So, and then the Allen wrench just slips in them. So at any rate... If we were trying to save this, it'd be a really serious problem because we tried drilling it. It's harder to hobs. You can't even touch it with a... Uh, high-speed drill bit. So what I'm getting ready to do is set this thing up on the radial drill and drop in there with a carbide end mill and take that thing out. Now, I'm going to be not super careful about it because we're throwing this casting away, but it is an interesting, um, just the type of situation that you could pretty commonly find yourself in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set up and get that thing drilled out of there. Carlton 1A is one of the machines that just puts a smile on my face every time I use it. Like, just one of the kind of machines that's so well engineered and works so good that you absolutely fantastic.
that screw part, I think. I'm gonna try seeing. Yeah. Let me see if I can back out the main screw, but it's it was slipping too. We just broke through. Try backing this out of here. I don't reckon anything. You see, this is, uh, get it where you can see it. There's the notch I was talking about. And then that dog point set screw just rides in that notch and keeps this from escaping. So, I was able to drill it on through, get the part out. So, we got a success.